The first concept we're going to cover is called alpha lock. So even though all the techniques are going to be demonstrated on Procreate iPad, but all the concepts are applicable to Photoshop and many other similar programs as well. Procreate comes with the ability to lock a layer's transparency, which is called alpha lock. While alpha lock is active, you will only be able to paint or smudge inside the area that already has paint on it. It's really handy once you have all the edges worked out and only want to paint inside. Imagine if you're working on a shaky train. Wouldn't that be nice not to draw outside of the defined boundary every time the train wobbles? So that's the point of alpha lock. Over here, you will see a layer with an area painted in beige color with the text alpha lock on it. The entire area is considered painted. Once you draw new elements on top of the area, like the hearts over here, with the alpha lock turned on, it looks seemingly the same as a normal drawing on top of a layer. However, once you really approach the edge of the painted area, you will only be able to draw within the painted definition because all the pixels, all the transparent pixels around are locked. Like the example shown here, the hearts drawn around the edges appear to be cut off because the transparent pixels or unpainted pixels are locked. It doesn't matter what type of content is on the layer. It can be scribbles or text or paintings. They don't even have to be in one single area. As far as the alpha lock is concerned, the original area before alpha lock serves as the content boundary for that layer. You can activate alpha lock by clicking the layer thumbnail and you will find alpha lock in the layer option menu. You can also turn it on quickly by swiping left to right with two fingers on that layer. At any time, if you want to modify the edges, you can temporarily turn off the alpha lock and work on the edges, and then just turn it back on once the edges are done. All right, let's hop over to the app to take a look. So over here, I have a sample artwork with the word love written in calligraphy style with texture, and in the background, I have the petal and the sandy texture, the fine scratches. Um, if you open my layer panel, there are tons of layers. Some of them are hidden and they're called can't delete. So I probably won't be able to delete them. If I hit the plus sign over here, Procreate will kindly tell me that I have reached my layer count. So that means that I cannot possibly create a new layer. And imagine, and let's just pretend, let's just pretend I'm not willing to combine any of these layers. And that's one of the condition that calls for alpha lock is that you're tight on layers. Alpha lock is very similar to clipping mask, which we're going to introduce next. But almost the only time I want to use alpha lock over clipping mask is when I'm tight on layer counts because any changes that I make right now under alpha lock is going to be on the original art layer and it is destructive. The word sounds pretty heavy, but basically that means that once you exit out of the file, the changes are irreversible. So if you go back to the gallery right now and comes back in, you will not be able to undo whatever changes that you have done under alpha lock, once you exit the file, the result on that particular layer is permanent. The only way to revert that result would be redrawing that layer. So at the moment, I want to do a final highlight on the word love, but um, I don't want to draw outside of the purple boundary that I have. I'm just going to turn the layer on and off so you know which layer I'm talking about. So I'm going to turn on alpha lock by clicking the thumbnail and choose alpha lock. 
Active alpha lock is shown by the checkered background in the layer thumbnail. Now I have the alpha lock turned on. I want to add some pink highlight to the word love. I want to make sure I have the right brush. This is fine. And increase the size a little bit and start drawing. I'm going to intentionally draw close to the boundary so you will see that the portion where I supposedly land outside of the boundary doesn't really show because the transparent pixels on that layer is locked. So I would be able to draw within the purple boundary over here. So that's alpha lock. It locks down the transparent pixels and lets you modify the painted pixels. You can use it when you are short on layer counts or when you are absolutely confident that your final changes are going to be final. Before we jump into the next lesson, I do want to mention that alpha lock is different from the layer lock. A layer lock is designed to protect your artwork from any changes. You will not be able to modify anything on that layer until it's unlocked. And it also works for groups as well. This function protects you from accidental changes on that layer or group, while alpha lock only protects the unpainted area. You can lock any group or layer by swiping left with one finger and click on lock and that layer or group will remain untouchable until you unlock it. 